Hey guys, so I figured with Halloween in the air, October, I figured the next best puzzle to do to kind of fit the mood would be the Disney Parks Signature Puzzle Haunted Mansion. And these are one of the Disney Parks exclusive puzzles. And this is a 1000 piece puzzle. So this is going to be a big one. It's going to be 27 by 13.65 inches when it's completed. And it is called Ghoulish Delight. And the artist of this painting is Darren Wilson, who is a well noted artist for the Walt Disney Company. And this puzzle is part of the... Um, Signature Puzzles Attraction Series. This in particular was the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion ride. One thing about the Disney Park Signature Puzzles is from my experience, the only place you can really grab these puzzles from a store is at the Disney Parks or Disney Springs or the Disney Resort Hotels. Now that's my experience and that's if you want to pay the normal price of $24.99. You can also get some of the signature puzzles on the Shop Disney website, but you know Disney. They're not going to have all of their selections on the website. Basically, you want to grab a particular one, you're going to have to go to Disney. But there are other websites and other sellers online that do sell these puzzles, but you're most likely going to be paying more than the actual retail price. Now, one of the reasons why I picked up this puzzle the last time I was at Disney World was because I think this image is so cool. You have the grim, grinning ghost. You have Madame Leota. You have floating candles, harps. It's awesome. It's absolutely one of my favorite rides at Disney World. If I'm going to Disney, I am going on this ride at least two times. I mean, I'm not sure how realistic that is, you know, nowadays, considering how busy the parks are. And, um, you know, I had experience using the G the Disney Genie Plus. And um, all I can say is um, I miss FastPass. That was a much better system, in my opinion. But if you do plan to go to Disney World at some point, um, you have to have to ride the Haunted Mansion. It is a classic. It is awesome, it's fun, it's spooky, it's, it's absolutely awesome. And it has a great soundtrack too. Hit the like button if you love the Haunted Mansion ride. And if not, let me know what is your favorite ride at Disney World. First impressions, just by looking at this image, this is not going to be easy. Honestly, I am quite intimidated. I'm a little scared at how long this is gonna take me. There's a lot of very dark tones here. We have a lot of grays. The whole image is basically different shades of gray. I'm pretty sure all this background, this um, black and brown areas, the ghosts, I mean, even the greeny kind of color of the ghost and Leota kind of look the same. So I have a, this, I don't know, the more I look at this, the more scared I'm getting of this puzzle. And not because it's a spooky image, but I mean, what do you guys think? And now that I think about it, Haunted Mansion, maybe they do, maybe it does want you to be scared when you attempt this puzzle. Maybe that's the whole point, but we shall see. I'm pretty sure this is going to take me a long time to do. Let's open it and find out. All right, here we go. Oh, goodness. Please excuse the puzzle dust. That was from the Snow White puzzle. It was very dusty. Anyways, let's try this again. All right, here it is. I got my scissors near me this time, so let's open this one up. All right, the grand reveal. All right, this one doesn't have as much puzzle dust as my last one did. Scraggle, scragglers in there. Whoa. Okay, I'm a little intimidated. Oh my god, they're so dark. 
Well, this is not a dusty puzzle at all. Here are the pieces. They're very thin, but they feel quite sturdy, which is nice. Oh, oh my God, this is gonna be a hard, this is gonna be difficult. Hear that sound. These are pretty solid pieces. Very nice, very nice. They're very dark pieces. All right, guys, here it goes. So I thought I'd throw in a few fun facts that I found while doing some research on the Haunted Mansion. Did you know that there are actually four variations of this attraction throughout the world? Our first one, of course, is the original, which is in Disneyland, California, and that one opened up in 1969. And one of the early concepts of it was a water ride, which would take the guests through a Louisiana swamp that the mansion had been partially submerged in. The second one is located in Walt Disney World, and that is in Orlando, Florida, and that one opened up in 1971. And the Disney Imagineers were inspired by the design of the Harry Packer Mansion, which is a building located in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, and they were inspired by its Dutch style. And it's funny because I actually live 20 minutes from this mansion, and I went to visit it for the first time recently, and it was funny how similar it actually does look to the Walt Disney World attraction. I kind of feel like I can go to the Haunted Mansion whenever I want now. And then we have Disneyland Paris, which opened in 1992. And that one is actually called Phantom Manor. And compared to the other mansions, the exterior on this one is made to look very run down and creepy, very much like the inside. And finally, we have a haunted mansion located in Tokyo Disneyland, and that one opened in 1983. And this one is very similar, almost identical to the one located in Walt Disney World. But it's the only other location that offers the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay during the Christmas season, um, like they do in Disneyland in California. Let me know if you have visited any of these other Disney parks and what was your experience like, especially if you went on one of these haunted mansions.
Oh boy, where do I begin with this? So, I warn you guys, this puzzle will haunt you for different reasons. And one of those reasons is not because it's a spooky looking puzzle. One of the biggest issues I had with this set was the fact that it did not come with a poster. And considering the price, you would think it would. Only using the image that I had on the box, it was very difficult to tell what the pieces were. Because to me, the color of the pieces actually looked brighter than what they did on the box which confused me even more. I was getting so desperate, even in the early stages of this puzzle. I had to change my sorting method numerous times. I'm sure the lighting in my room had a lot to do with it as well, but it didn't help that these pieces also had that annoying glare to them. So it made it even harder to kind of tell what I was looking at. I mean, the pieces themselves are nice and solid, but I did have, once again, that issue with popping pieces like I did with the Snow White puzzle. And it was frustrating because, like before, I would put a piece in or take one out and then suddenly a whole bunch of them would just like kind of flutter on the board. It was really frustrating. This puzzle took me an eternity to complete. I seriously thought that I would turn into a ghost before I finished it. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this, but this puzzle actually kept me up at nights. I had to start working on it at nights because I set myself a goal to have this puzzle completed and the video completed before Halloween and time was running out. So I worked on it for so many hours. I even worked on it when everyone was asleep and I had the, the ring light on so that I can see. This puzzle ended up possessing me at times too. It just kind of took over my my day and my time and my mind. I don't know, maybe it was the time limit that I set myself for it, but I honestly didn't think it would take me as long as it did to complete. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm so glad it's over because it was actually the first time that I became so stressed just completing a puzzle. It's It was always a, a relaxing thing for me, so. It was, um, it was a doozy. And for my last words, um, buy and complete this puzzle at your own risk. It will haunt you. You will stay up at nights thinking about how you're going to complete it. For the price at $24.99, I think Disney should have at least included a poster for this considering the price you pay. I honestly think a poster would have helped a lot in completing this because you can barely see the details on the box itself. Please let me know if you've had any haunting experiences um, with this puzzle. And if you have, how long did it take you to complete? That, and that's if you even were able to um, record how long it took you. Because after a certain point, I kind of just gave up recording my time because I totally lost track of it. What I do know is that it took me a span of 10 days. Uh, well, this is over now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to move on to a more colorful, more happy looking puzzle for the next video. And I am very much looking forward to it. And surprise, it's not going to be a Disney puzzle. I think I need a break from Disney after this haunting experience. If you would like to continue following me on my jigsaw journey, be sure to subscribe so that you can keep up to date with all my new puzzles and reviews. Well guys, again thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.